What's up everyone? This is me Sean and today I want to welcome you guys to the future, the year 2017 where we have flying cars and jetpacks out the wazoo. Well, I I mean we will have that some sometime this year. Maybe. So welcome your faces back to the Zilchcraft server where today I am going to be passing out a bunch of these guys which I just thought they were really cool so I made some for myself I just I wanted to go bring some some fireworks to everybody else so let's go ahead and let's do that real quick Alright, well I hope everyone has fun with those rockets. I still have a few more here, which is pretty, pretty nice, pretty nice, but I'm not going to be playing around with these right now. What I am going to be doing right now though is I'm going to be going over to those two mountains and I'm going to be building a wizard lair. Now I don't know if it's going to be like a big old tower, if it's going to be two towers that are connected or whatever. I'm going to figure it out in a little bit, but you guys will just see a bunch of sped up footage from the construction of the tower so I hope you guys do enjoy it and I'll see you on the other side. Alright guys, well that took a little longer than I thought it would, but I have finally finished the first of the two towers, so yeah, I'm not going to complete the second tower, and I'm probably going to do a little bit of editing with that roof up there, because that roof does not look well. <laughs> it does not look good. Uh, but, for the most part, that is the first tower. Now, there's nothing on the inside. It's pretty much just a hollow, empty shell, like myself, but... <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much what it was. It took me somewhere close to uh, two hours to do. And actually, not even all the details on the outside are done, so I'm not completely finished with it. But for right now, that's going to have to do because I've been working on this for way too long to get this little out of it. So, I do have something I'm going to be doing for the rest of today's video. And since I'm a little bit constrained on time, I'm actually going to leave the Woodland Mansion to another video. But for today, I'm going to try to start an iron farm. Now, I haven't shown this in the video yet, but I do have a ton of villagers over there breeding. And they have just been mingling inside this, this building right here with a ton of doors and stuff like that. And yes, I did place this iron... Uh, blah, blah. And I did play, I did, I did play, I played this Iron Golem, and I won the game that we played. I don't know where I was going with that. Okay, but I did make this Iron Golem to go ahead and protect these guys, just in case a bunch of zombies spawned in here. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take a couple of these guys out of here, and I'm going to start making an iron farm with them. So, yeah. Alright guys, well, it seems that... I need to be pretty far away from a village to be able to, you know, make a iron golem farm. So, basically what I need to do is I need to dismantle the village that's in here. So, yeah, also, I want to go ahead and make a comment real quick. When I was over here, 
and I was getting ready to start this. I just look it over my shoulder. Now I can't see. Okay, now I can see it. But that that off in the distance, that tower looks so epic, honestly. Even though the roof is so weird, the the shadow, the silhouette looks so amazing. I don't know. I, I just thought that was really epic. But yeah. Now I have to go in here and I have to dismantle all these doors and all the dirt above it. So, yay! Fun times, fun times. Alright guys, so the next thing I need to do is I need to find myself a suitable candidate or two suitable candidates to go into the farm and by golly this guy looks like a suitable candidate. So let's put down, hold on, let's put down a rail, boop, and a minecart and let's push him into it. Come on, in you go. There we go. Good, good guy, good guy. Okay, so I'm going to connect him up over to here. And now all we need is we need a second villager to go in there. Now can you please just let me push you. Thank you. So now we need a second villager which is going to be Bob here. And yes, I did name this guy and the the way I named him is gosh, that voice crack. The way I named him is I cured a zombie villager and I put a name tag on that and the name carried through. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I also forgot a second minecart. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab a second minecart. And I'll be back over there in a second. Oh, hey, 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 hey. We have an escapee. Okay, no. All right. So now we just got to get Bob in here. All right, Bob. Get on in there. Good old Bob. There we go. Now we have Bob and his new friend over here. And they are going to go outside in a little bit. Okay, I need a block somewhere. Okay, stop. Stop it. Stop it! No, this is not a game. Okay, Bob, stop trying to play this game with me. You will lose every time. Okay. So, now that I have the two villagers that I'm going to put in there, I actually have to create a place to put them, along with a place for the iron golems to, you know, fall and die. So, that's the next thing I'm going to do. So, I think I'm going to build it underground right there in the flat area. So, I'm going to get on that right now. So, guys, I might have gotten a little bit ahead of myself, and I basically built the whole thing. And the only thing I haven't done yet is I haven't put the villagers in. So, that's exactly what I'm going to go ahead and do right now. I'm going to scoot the villagers all the way down here. And hopefully, they will, you know, get along very, very nicely. So... Yeah, all that's left to do is to basically break down this barrier, uh, put a couple rails down, and push them all the way. And for some reason, my my keyboard is really unresponsive right now. I don't know why that is, but it is. So, yeah, okay. You got... Oh, come on. You guys ready to go? Let's, let's go, come on. All right. Go! Okay. Are they making it there okay? All right, Bob made it. My... My keyboard won't work. Okay. Sweet. Is that... No. No. Go back down, Bob. How'd you even get all the way back up here? Come on. Stay down there, Bob. Come on. No. You don't have enough. Okay. Sweet. He doesn't. Great. So, let's go ahead. Let's break... Are you serious right now, Bob? Come on. All you have to do is just stay down there. Simple as that. Come on. And there we go. Hopefully Bob will go ahead and stay down here because, you know, it's getting pretty annoying when he starts going back up and he's not supposed to. Okay, Bob. Basically, what I have here is I have a mini setup and I did get this off another guy's video, so I will leave that video in the description below. It's basically a tutorial about these doors and how these doors make these guys, uh, you know, I guess breed and it counts it as a village or something so these guys will hopefully be able to make a mini village in here so yeah that's the idea if these guys are able to make a mini village inside of this little place here 
and they are able to basically, uh, I guess, create more villagers. They will be able to spawn iron golems in there, or in the middle there, and I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to work, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to leave this video off here, guys, and in the next video, I will show you guys uh, if this did or did not work. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video, if you did make sure to go ahead and hit that like button and if you have not yet, make sure to hit that big old red subscribe button and make sure to leave in the comment section below any other ideas for stuff I should do in the next Zilchcraft video. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one!